What if I told you that you could turn back your skin's clock without guessing, without gimmicks? I'm sharing five science back longevity tips that I personally use as a dermatologist to help reverse the visible signs of skin aging. I'm Dr. Azadeh Shirazi, a board certified dermatologist with over 15 years of experience here to bring you unsponsored educational content so you can make the best decisions when it comes to products and treatments for you. Because after all, you are more than a pretty face. So today I want to bridge the gap between skincare trends and real science backed strategies you can trust. And if that sounds good, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and share this with a friend because sharing is caring. Let's get into what truly sets the clock back when it comes to your skin. Starting with lasers. Lasers stimulate collagen, they help remodel your elastin and they are truly regenerative. The two main types of lasers that do this is one, laser resurfacing devices like the CO2 laser, the halo laser, the fraxel, profractional. And then there are light-based lasers like the BVL, which stands for broadband light. Now studies show that fractional CO2 lasers actually increased collagen content by up to 40% at six months post-treatment. And this was published in the journal, the American Academy of Dermatology. And it's just real science. They truly form new healthy skin cells that are you know, healthier, they're smoother, there's greater collagen in them, and they're just more youthful. Now the CO2 laser is very powerful, has a lot of downtime. You can consider non-ablative resurfacing, which is things like the Fraxel, the Halo. Now they've been shown to induce a 26% increase in collagen density after a series of treatments. And this was published in the Lasers in Surgery and Medicine. So if you're looking for a treatment that truly helps reverse skin aging, lasers are one of them. And there's a lot of data and research where skin samples are taken from patients three months after having resurfacing laser treatments. And we can visually see better skin under the microscope. There's more collagen fibers, the elastic fibers look better, healthier, stronger. There's more hyaluronic acid. So the skin structurally looks better. And the goal here is really higher quality skin that's healthier. The other type of laser, and I say laser in quotations because it's not truly a laser, but a light device called the BBL, which stands for broadband light. I own one in my practice. It's one of my favorite treatments and it uses a light energy to target pigmentation, redness, red blotches, discoloration, and sun damage. And there was a Stanford study that was published that showed the BBL treatments can actually alter gene expression in aged skin to resemble that of younger skin, particularly genes involved in collagen production, cellular repair. So really lasers are kind of like, you know, spring cleaning for your skin from the surface. They help polish to deep structural rebuilding. So using the right technology and the right person can really help reset skin aging. And there was a study that was published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology that looked at gene expression and skin cells in the treated versus untreated skin with the BBL in the same person. And those who underwent consistent BBL treatments over a long period of time for years showed skin markers associated with more youthful skin than skin that was not treated with a BBL. And this is in the same person. So regular BBL treatment not only helps remove the blotches, the discoloration and helps clean up the weathering from sun damage, but it's doing something more at the cellular level. It's shifting gene expression to make more youthful markers, more youthful skin. Number two, diet. You've got to feed your skin from within. And I really recommend you eat high antioxidant rich foods like berries, spinach, kale. These antioxidants help neutralize free radicals that break down our collagen and elastin. There was actually a study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that found higher vitamin C intake correlated with less wrinkling and dryness in middle-aged women. Now, omega-3 fat acids are also wonderful, things like salmon, walnuts, flaxseed. And there was a study that was published in the Journal of Lipid Research that showed omega-3 helps improve skin barrier function and reduces inflammation. Polyphenols is another important component. Green tea, pomegranate, dark chocolate, because they've been shown to protect against photoaging and reduce UV-induced oxidative damage. What should you avoid? high sugar intake because they lead to advanced glycation end products known as ages. They stiffen your collagen 
lead to wrinkles and sagging. Actually, a 2010 study confirmed that a high sugar diet accelerates both intrinsic and extrinsic skin aging. So food isn't just fuel, it's collagen, insurance, antioxidants, healthy fats, low sugar. That's your daily topical serum from within. Number three, exercise should be part of your anti-aging skincare routine. You got to move for youthful skin. Resistance training, strength training, all increase the production of insulin like growth factor one, which stimulates collagen production in the dermis. In fact, there was a 2020 study in uh, Frontiers in Physiology that showed exercise actually rejuvenates mitochondrial health in skin cells. This is looking at moderate intensity cardio, so aerobic exercise, which improves circulation, delivers more nutrients to your skin. And there's been lots of studies that show the importance of exercise in cell metabolism. So regular aerobic exercise helps preserve the thickness of skin. Even if you're in your 50s, your 60s, it's not too late. You've got to strengthen your body, thicken your skin, literally. Strength training plus moderate cardio is really the ultimate workout when it comes to anti-aging. Nothing too extreme or too intense. Number four, biostimulation. You've probably heard this word being thrown around, but essentially what it means is treatments that help stimulate your fibroblasts to increase collagen production, elastin production. And studies have shown that you could do this by up to 49% of increased collagen production in three months. Uh, these are injections like Sculptra or Hyperdilute Radius, which is a calcium-based product that is found in your own body. It's found in your bones and the results can actually last for you know, a year and a half, two years. And some biostimulators are fillers and some are not, depends on how you use it. But calcium hydroxyapatite or hyperdilute radius, the way it works is that it almost forms a scaffold in your skin and it stimulates the fibroblast to increase collagen production and lay it down in the scaffold. Now we can also use it as a volumizer and so can Sculptra. Sculptra, however, is synthetic. It is a solution that is reconstituted with water and injected into the skin. And it, it's kind of spreads throughout the skin and it stimulates collagen production. Those little particles, eventually they'll go away, but the collagen stays. And everybody always asks, well, how long does it last? Well, the collagen stimulation is long-term, but you go back to aging. Nobody can actually stop the clock. I'm talking about reversing the clock. And what I love about Sculptra is that actually it can help thicken the skin. So not only help produce collagen, but it can actually make your skin thicker. Now remember guys, too much of a good thing is not a good thing. So you want to be careful and strategic with how you're using these products. It's not something you want to be doing, you know, constantly over time because you don't want to overproduce collagen, right? Especially if you're thinking of doing a facelift down the line. And you know, these sort of things will last for so long because again, you go back to aging, you're going to continue to lose you know, soft tissue, collagen, elastin, but they can really be helpful in part of your age-defying, I don't like the word anti-aging, age-defying journey. Number five, microneedling with PRP. This is like turbocharging your skin's regeneration. Microneedling alone, the way it works is it creates these micro injury channels that trigger your skin's natural wound healing cascade. A 2016 study in derm surgery showed microneedling significantly increased not only collagen type one and three, but also seven. And after six treatments, microneedling with PRP, which is platelet rich plasma, enhances the healing and collagen production. So really the PRP is kind of like the fertilizer, whereas the microneedling is really planting the seeds. There was another study in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology that the combination of microneedling with PRP will lead to greater improvements in things like skin texture, elasticity, pigmentation, than just doing microneedling alone. And it's a really great treatment because it's mild. It, it can be helpful in any skin type, unlike lasers. Sometimes there's limitations with skin type with lasers. And it doesn't have a lot of downtime. You're red for about 24 hours, and then you see this kind of nice glow after a week. Now I tell people one session of microneedling is really not enough. One session of laser might be enough because lasers are so much more powerful, but you're gonna need 
probably three to five to see significant improvement in your skin and your overall quality. And so to keep that in mind, a lot of people just do one session of microneedling, they give up because they don't see big results, but it's one of those treatments that you wanna do a series. And I always say the, the more intense and powerful the treatment, the fewer you'll need, but the greater the cost, the more downtime. So you just have to, at the end of the day, see what you know is right for you. Don't listen to you know, your friends that may be doing X, Y, and Z and assume that that's what you should be doing. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful and gave you some insight into what you could be doing to reverse skin aging. Comment below, let me know what type of videos you wanna hear from me next. Until next time, bye guys.